Hello everyone, this is Budgetary Cool, and you are currently watching the first video of a four-part video tutorial series that will be covering body proportions, hair, eyes, and backgrounds. Yay! As this is the first video of the series, it will be going over body proportions, and it will be in a certain pose as requested by Ahit Belokan and Miss Vicious Seven. Thank you very much for the request. I always appreciate them. Okay, now we shall get on to the pose and body proportion thing. Forgive me for I have drawn a circle already. I, you know, it's, it's difficult drawing circles. So I didn't want to just record myself drawing a circle over and over again and failing over and over again. Actually, it only took me two tries to draw the circle. So uh, yeah, you should probably be really pretty, pretty proud of me at this point. Um, yeah, oh yeah, this is a tutorial, I should be talking about what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, this, this is the middle of the face. This is gonna be a head. <laughs> yep. And, uh, yeah, the head's going to be fairly, uh, pointing downish, but not really. Ah, uh, it's more tilted. Tilted head. I don't know why I'm doing this line over and over again, but... I am. It just doesn't look right. Ah, uh, of course it won't look right because I haven't drawn this line yet. Okay, this is just her chin. As you can see, this is a... Well, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, this is a style that I don't draw in very often because I actually just started drawing in it like two nights ago, so... Yeah, hopefully that doesn't make my credibility go down, but it's not too different from my usual style. My usual style is think a little more realistic than this one. This is getting towards the chibi side, which means cuter and bigger heads. Yep. Uh, yeah, now about halfway down the face, you can draw this line, which will be the top boundary lines for her eyes, or his eyes, and that will be the bottom boundary line for his eyes. Now draw this one up really close to the edge of the face, this one about a third away from there, this one a little more than a third, and this one over here. So, you know, they're turning that way, this eye will be a little smaller, that eye will be a little bigger. Okie dokes. Now, it is time to do the rest of the body. Now, we are drawing a little neck because that is just the style of this particular drawing. And now, it is time for the guidelines. I'll do in red. Right there and there. This is one head length. I did control T. You can always check out what I'm doing up in that corner. Now usually I butt it up against the bottom of the chin, but since she's looking down a bit, the chin was a little bit lower than usual, so I'll place that higher. And now do a halfway point and then about a fourth way point. See, like that? That's a bit... Okay, there. Still not good. There. Yeah? Yeah, that's good. Okay, now this will just be our guidelines for drawing the rest of the torso. Now, let's switch back to blue. I will make... Uh, yeah. Lines. Lines. What am I doing right now? I am actually going to erase that. Control T. Let's rotate her head a little bit more. Yeah, okay. And now... No. No, we're not. Ah, I'm sorry, that was useless. <laughs> okay. In this pose, her uh, shoulders will be fairly square with the person, which usually violates some laws of drawing because Square shoulders are kind of boring, but in this case, we have other slanty lines that will make it more interesting. Yay! And uh, yeah, but this is is I just I drew that line for myself. I'll maybe describe it later. I don't know. But anyway, see parallelogram. That's not the word I was trying to say. I was going to say square, but it is a parallelogram. Um, just making sure that this line is about as long as that line. 
This is the bottom of the boobies. As you can see there, look, boobs. Just one boob. The other boob is over here. Can't really see it. Not pronounced. We're not making that kind of girl. And, uh, yeah, that's one there. You don't actually have to. I usually don't draw the boobs this soon in. But, uh, for the sake of the tutorial, this is. There's no sake of the tutorial in that. Nothing was. No benefits of drawing the boobs early. So, anyway, I. I'm just gonna draw that about there. Yeah? Nah. A bit more there. And uh, this middle line actually helps with the. just the contours of the body, just to make sure that I know what I'm doing. Which would be great if I knew what I'm doing, because right now I feel like I'm just kinda floundering around for a position. Okay, anyway, there. There's the bottom of the crotch, as you can see right there. And right now I'm just kind of drawing where the torso turns into legs, essentially. And also, my computer is lagging. Yay! Everyone loves lagging computers during a tutorial video, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, we will make this go away forever. Make another one. And now measure from the base the base of the neck to the base of the crotch we shall move it down to the base of the crotch uh -huh. and now you see that's about halfway do another one about halfway down you can delete that one you can actually delete that one too and this bottom area will be where actually that shouldn't be straight it should be kind of like that since this will be where her ankles will lay so yeah, she could be anywhere along there, for that leg at least. And uh, about halfway through there will be where her knees can possibly be. Now, one of the things about this pose in particular is it is a wide stance. Very stable. I drew the knee line a bit low because I forgot that the crotch isn't where the leg pivots, it's actually up there. So there are the general knee, leg, ankle positions. And I like drawing a little line just to see if her leg is bending backwards at all. Which legs can bend a little bit backwards, which is what that one is going to be doing. Just look at your own leg if you haven't done that before. It's pretty weird and fun. Bending your legs backwards. But just a little. Not too far. I will not be held responsible for any broken legs during this video. And now this. We'll keep going. Oh my gosh, I feel like I did something wrong. It's okay. I won't admit it if I did. Because I'm doing a tutorial video. I should know what I'm doing, right? Will you believe me if I say I know what I'm doing? I'm gonna make this go away now. And then... That leg is over there. Since, uh... Since the character is facing away from me, us a little bit, we won't really see any of the flat crotch area, as... This is a different position. Usually if they are straight on, you will see a bit of that happening but in this case things block each other and I'm just drawing legs now mm -hmm. you no know, I never know what to talk about when I'm drawing legs like I guess the knees the knees are kind of weird these are really thin knees I'm probably gonna thicken those out later Not just a teeny bit though because, as I said before, it's in the style. Ah. And uh, that's that, that's that, 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 la, 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 la. Usually knees actually go out a little bit, which is weird. That's why people have problems with legs so much. That's why I have problems with legs sometimes a lot. Sometimes a lot. Some, I don't know. I'm just repeating what I say. And here are the ankles. Little ankle bones. Do that. Do that. 
and that I, this is not a foot tutorial. You can just follow along if you want to with all of my awesome instructions of this and that and do that line there and er, ber, ber, ber. if you have any questions about that you can leave them in the comment section below or I'll just I oh, actually I have had a request for that so maybe I will do that anyway we are done with the legs time for the arms uh, the arms will be coming around out of there and about around of there and a usual thing to do is put the elbow a little below that waistline just a teeny bit for this particular style like other styles they generally follow the same rules so I don't know why I even brought that up okay now the uh, wrist line I used to like not used to I usually like drawing it a little above no no right at the crotch line about and this one just make sure that you have equal distance between the shoulder the elbow and the wrist and that only works if the arm is kind of square to the viewer because if there's any foreshortening going on then weird things are gonna happen everyone gets confused people might criticize your drawing <laughs> I'm sorry criticize crit criticism that's a thing of people your drawings I don't know tends to be usually helpful and good but then of course sometimes they're just little trolls under the bridges which I oblige now, actually we don't have many trolls in videos such as this which I'm very grateful for you viewers are amazing people for not succumbing to you know harassing me <laughs> harass harassing uh, I like pronouncing words sometimes uh, okay yeah this is not oh, a hand tutorial video which is why I was utterly useless while drawing that hand I was talking about harassing <laughs> harassing crevasse oh, man I love it when people say things I have such a boring way of talking just talking like this no, that's not how I talk. That's how I talk when I try to talk interestingly. But not really. That's, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Okay. Uh, yeah. And this part pretty much has nothing to do with the proportion. Oh, it does. Uh, hands. Hands will be in this style, which is different from all the other styles. Not all the other styles, but some of the other styles. Will be about tip of the finger to the wrist is almost as long as the wrist to the elbow. That's one of the nice things about this video, not video, this uh, style is big head and big hands and big feet, except I didn't really portray that very well, but nonetheless, that's what I attempted to portray. And uh, yeah, that's going to be there, we're drawing another their finger, that's the middle finger, then we are drawing the ring finger, and then the pinky is going to come out there a teeny bit. Okay, so I actually babbled a bit too much, so I'm just going to edit this into the very end. Okay, 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 this is just the one last little thing, just to wrap everything up, there is that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say what these are in just a second. Okay, so from the top of the head to the bottom of the head, that's one head length. From the, you know, a little above where the head usually would start, the base of the neck, not the base of the neck, the top of the base of the neck. I don't know, that's one and a fourth heads. Whoa! That goes down to the crotch line. And now we have the, uh, that to there. That is the same thing as uh, that. No, it's not the same thing at all. If this is one torso length, this is one and a half torso lengths. Okay, that's all I need to say. Thanks for watching the video. If uh, you have any comments or questions, leave them down in the section below and I'll get to them soonish. And uh, yeah, I hope you watch the other videos in the tutorial because, or tutorial series, because those should be a bit more interesting than this one. And uh, yeah.
take care thanks for watching